10 o'clock on October 12, 1987, Philip Saunders shut his kiosk in Cardiff Central bus station for the last time. He arrived at his home in Canton shortly after 11, but outside the house he was attacked, robbed of the day's takings and left for dead. The suspect was described as six foot tall with black curly hair. Both Ellis Sherwood and Michael O'Brien admit they were stealing cars that night, but always deny they're guilty of murder. There was no forensic evidence to implicate them. We disclosed disturbing new evidence that raised real doubts about the prosecution's version of events. Michael O'Brien spoke from prison. I can honestly say that myself, Darren Hall, Ellis Sherwood are all innocent. We're all innocent and I have fought from day one to prove our innocence. Last December, after 11 years in prison, the Cardiff News Agent 3 were released on bail. <laughs> Despite the relief that all three were free, it's been a difficult year for their families. Michael O'Brien's son Kyle was just a baby when he was sent to prison. His baby daughter and father both died before his release.